um, Amir, are you watching me? Your relations have been hard fucking work. So normally I'd say thank you for referring somebody to me, but especially your dad. Your brother will, can fill you in when he sees you. But I look forward to seeing you in a few days in uh, London. And um, you don't have any more relatives I'm going to see, do you? No. No, okay, okay. For now. For, oh, for now. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, to answer a question, we'll get into uh, comments. Because I mentioned veterans, and I don't normally, and we've got two vets here, American vets. Um, the, um, to answer the questions you guys that are veterans, uh, am I going to have a special deal for veterans? And they, I don't have an individual seminar planned here at QLA uh, for veterans, although I've had a lot of veterans. Um, but um, I plan on, and that's why I've been talking to these two young men, about uh, doing something um, just for the VA in, in enlisting the assistance of some very high profile um, veterans that I know that have been very successful that have followings um, this year. So um, keep in touch with Winnica and um, Thelma and uh, we'll make an announcement to, as soon as we have something concrete to talk about. Um, but just for you guys to, that are listening, it's, uh, it's interesting uh, that uh, over 40, 45 years, war stories haven't changed much <laughs> uh, from uh, <laughs> from uh, the wars, whether it's a Marine or uh, an Army guy, but uh, the war stories haven't changed much. And um, it's been uh, fun to listen to. Okay, um, the, um, the weekly report. We're going to talk about this in a little bit. Um, the... Um, we're also going to um, um, share a picture of Matt. Because um, you already know it's coming. I was going to pass it around and say, uh, who does this look like? But uh, it, it's not likely that you would recognize. But it's more dramatic than the, than the uh, dreadlock picture that we had with my uh, uh, colleague and mentee, Jermaine. Uh, and you saw how that was night and day. Well, th this is going to be, whatever transcends night and day, it's, um, it, it's pretty uh, interesting to watch. But to his credit, Matt said you, you, you cut all your hair off when you said you're not going to be able to get money with long hair, or more or less. He said it better than that. And, it's, and, and he already dressed pretty much the part, so that's about the, uh, well, not before in that picture that we're going to show you he didn't, but um, he's... Um, He's blended in um, to the uh, financial community quite well. And so you'll see it when uh, I show it to you. Um, we're going to, this is, again, if this is the only thing that you come away with, even before, you don't need the other stuff. You don't need raising capital. You don't need deal flow. You know, nothing. These two next slides, even for somebody like Chris who's looking for a fucking shortcut uh, stroke excuse. Um, and um, I'm going to go through them quickly. Some of them we've, we've spent some time on. Okay. Angel networks, in my judgment, aren't angels. These are guys supposedly, I used to, I'm considered an angel investor. And if, you, if, if I invest in your deal, I'm the last, last man on the planet you want to invest in your deal. I'm the last guy on the planet. But they have networks you can go on, on television, on the internet, etc. Uh, you can go up in front of stages where they give you 5, 10, 15 minutes to pitch your deal. A bunch of angel guys. Uh, kind of a quasi shark tank without all the bullshit. And how do you find them? Angel Network Los Angeles. Angel Network Cleveland. Angel Network Tampa. Angel Network... They don't have Angel Network in Cold Lake, Canada, but I mean, Angel Network just about every place else. Okay. Next, bartering, barter system, which some, some of you on YouTube have tried to do with me. Uh, I'm an electrical engineer or structural engineer, an architect. I'll design your next $25 million house, 
and trade for a place in the seminar, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. In the old days, I would fix your shoes as a shoe cobbler if you, you know, uh, plowed my field or or uh, made me a wooden cabinet, bartering. And it still exists. There still are bartering where people swap back and forth. But I don't know any high performance people that do it. I don't know anybody. Yet some of the marketing gurus barter. Um, uh, Kim? Oh, you mean, oh yeah, good, 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 okay. Um, bartering, and, but I mean that's a throwback to the 17th, 18th century, although some people still try to do it, but it's, it's not effective. Factoring, factoring is when you take your paper, we alluded to it earlier, where I have receivables from IBM, uh, and I take them to the bank, and they, give it, get, they loan me money against it. Um, general resource, credit, credit cards, friends, fools, family, we've talked about that. <clears throat> Government. I mentioned that several times. There's, there's nobody um, um, less sophisticated than a government agency to get money from in a lo legal, moral, ethical way. You don't, you don't have to, you, you're not cheating them, you're not doing anything. All you're doing is taking advantage of the bureaucracy. But it takes a long time. You're not, you don't get money out of governments overnight. And for those of you that, don't, uh, that have a real world-changing idea, save the planet, if you haven't been to the uh, International Monetary Fund or the World Bank, it's, you're not serious. United Nation also has money. Okay, uh, crowdfunding. I'm not an expert in crowdfunding. I've already told you that. I've never done a crowdfunding deal because I've never had to do a crowdfunding deal. But I'm told that some of my kids have used this, which is supposedly the, the Bible on crowdfunding. It's called Crowd. No, no, it's Bold. Excuse me. It's called Bold. And um, the kids that have uh, read it, uh, say that it's basically uh, a techie QLA. I don't know if that's true or not, but I, I have no intention of reading it. Unfortunately, I know some of you will read it. Um, then, then there's the commercial lending, which is the primary place to go, which means a regular bank, a Royal Bank of Canada, Royal Bank of Scotland, Bank of America, et cetera, et cetera. Commercial lending. Commercial lending. That's after the Friends, Fools, Family, et cetera, your, your next line is commercial lending. Commercial lending, a regular bank, a regular bank where they're giving you debt or debt for some of the Europeans watching, uh, uh, and, it, and, and the debt service has to be covered by unencumbered cash, free cash flow, and uh, we, we spent a lot of time talking about that. Now, incubator funds, I used to be on one, I used to have one, and incubator funds aren't, uh, like Siemens has an incubator fund. Uh, GE has an incubator fund, General Motors has an incubator. And what they do is they're normally associated with the university where they send the smart university uh, techie science types uh, that are working on patents, patents, and um, they, they normally are funding something that will enhance them, General Motors, them GE, them uh, uh, Siemens, and so, and in fact, Siemens has, I think, more than one incubator fund. So they're trying to get people to come up with additional, better, additional ideas, ancillary, complementary ideas to what their, uh, their scientific R&D firm uh, uh, departments are coming up with. Um, investment forums. I've also been, I used to be on the investment forum for University of Texas in, in the honor of my uh, deceased partner, Charlie Soliday, who graduated from the University of Texas, and the, and, and the seniors normally, sometimes juniors, get up and song and dance and, and, and pitch you on a deal. And I've, uh, the winners of the years that I was involved, I, I took them, put them on a plane, flew them here, and, and, and my um, gift to them was the Castle Seminar. And we've had some pretty remarkable results over the years because the kids have no fear. They think they're smart, and they don't know the wall of China can't be built. It's as simple as that. Um, leasing, one, one of the biggest leasing departments in the world, which is now being phased out, I hear, is GE leasing. Uh, a good portion of the money came from GE Financial. And you, you can buy equipment, but you can also lease it. And like many of you have leased cars, and that's more where you're, you understand the concept. You lease the car instead of you buy the car. But at the end of the day, leasing an automobile or leasing a piece of Manufacturing uh, equipment is not much different than buying it. 
It's just handled differently from a tax point of view, but it's normally the same amount of money. But it's a way that you delude yourself in saying, well, I don't have to put that much down payment because I'm leasing it. But if you, go, if you run the numbers, and all you spreadsheet motherfuckers here, I mean, should be able to figure this out. You know that it's not such a great deal. So I often think that as good as you think you're doing spreadsheets, not, you're not. But I don't care enough about it to check your spreadsheet. That's the difference. Dragos would check Chris's spreadsheet. I don't give a fuck. Why don't I give a fuck if it's plus or minus uh, 50 basis points or 1%? Because at the end of the day, it doesn't make a shit. Unless it's five times wrong, or three times or something like that, some, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, minorities and women. Well, um, God knows I'm a minority. Uh, not a lot of people. Yes, and my brother's in the back of the room. But uh, I haven't played that card. Uh, and, uh, but there are, uh, and, and, uh, and until now I haven't had a sex change like, what's his name, uh, bon, uh, Jenner, uh, the gold uh, medalist from uh, the Olympics, um, who's now Kate, I believe. The, um, but if you're Vietnamese, Chinese, uh, Native American, uh, uh, black, white, yellow, green, vet uh, from any war, one leg, one eye, one ear, one tit, uh, one uh, half your clitoris missing, one nut, you name it, and there is a fucking fund for you. And the more of those you can be, the better. Okay? Um, and uh, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. And uh, for those of you that fall into any of those categories, mm, some of you look like you're missing half your clitoris, but... We have, no clitor uh, we have no women in the audience, so you take that for what it's worth. Um, the, um, you should. You should. Uh, the, um, the, the ones that are uh, most noted and talked about, in my judgment, are the Hispanic, Latino set-asides and the black set-asides, um, which started, I guess, in the 60s or something. But when you're doing business with the government, the federal government, and those contracts I beat my chest about, there are government set-asides that are mandatory. By statute, you have 10 or 20 percent of the contracts got to go to minorities. And how they break that minority down, it could be women, black, brown, it doesn't matter. 10 or 20 percent, and, and some contracts even more. So all those contracts that I, I poke fun at, I mean, have some set-aside element. Have some set-aside element. And it's worth looking about, look, looking at, excuse me. Uh, television. They now have television shows um, that uh, you can get up and pitch song and dance, and you pitch some people, and they uh, and you um, get money, uh, or you, you know you expose yourself to the opportunity of one of the people on the show putting money. And the, the good thing about the shows, they write the check right there. They like the deal. Okay, in the back of them here, right then. Of course, the due diligence follows. They make sure it's legal, but they make the commitment right there. Uh, online resources. Now we have some net scum in the room that are, uh, should know more about this than I do, but don't. Uh, and Sally and I happen to be an expert in this kind of stuff because we've been doing it uh, you know, for more than 15 years now. The, uh, but online resources, there are, and I sent you a deal, uh, uh, a link, uh, that uh, there's places that you can go for, uh, for loans. Um, where they aggregate loans and they go out and they find people to make investments for a fee. And the fee can vary between 6 and 10%. Publications and software. There's not as many publications anymore because it's all been replaced by online stuff. Okay, unless you do uh, online publication they have. And of course, software. I mean, there's tons of them. Uh, and then there's the VCs and private equity, which should be your um, uh, source of last resort. And... Um, I believe that's all of them. YouTubers, thank you very much. We'll talk to you later.